Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, 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 bird. bird, bird. Hello and welcome. I'm Skahan, and today we're going to have a small class over Arma 3's JTAC, Ford Observer, Sniper, Recon, and Pathfinder roles. Each of these have a unique but similar aspect. We're also going to cover the what each of these are, where they are implemented, how important they are, what is the specific job for each of these, what do you do whenever you're one of these jobs. We're also going to talk about public servers, which we will talk mainly about. Excuse me. Also talk about player hosted servers, clan servers, and we will also go recap. But before we recap, we will do a practi small practical exercise. I will demonstrate. I've already got a small map set up, and then we'll conclude, and we'll get out of here. So let's just jump in. Both feet running. Disclosure. Just because you're in a JTAC role does not mean you have to do this. If you're just a casual player, you just want a slot and that's the only slot you have, you can play whatever you want. This is people who are just trying to be authentic or trying to assist their fellow Arma 3 buddies in destroying the enemy. I am in no way telling you to go be a JTAC. I'm just giving you information. So, let's jump right in. What is this? What is this job? What is what is a JTAC? Why do I keep saying JTAC whenever I rattle off four or five names? Well, I say JTAC because I no I normally lump everybody all these other groups into a JTAC. JTAC traditionally on stand alone, not Daisy, but on stand on its own <laughs> is a soldier or soldiers who are on the ground with infantry, with armor, with all these assets that are only on the ground and they coordinate the air assets between the guys on the ground. So basically you're, b you're with the infantry group talking to the guys in the air or you're in an OP observing maneuvers and you're talking to the guys in the air. A forward observer is similar to this except all he does is he talks to indirect. Indirect is artillery, mortars, MLRS missiles, or anything that could be fired indirectly to the target. Sniper, everyone knows what a sniper is. Not going to go into it. Recon teams. Recon, you're going and you're recon reconning the area. You're, you're seeing what's out there. Where is the enemy? What key terrain features do they have? Where are they positioned? What is the best avenue of approach? What is the best place to kill them from that will reduce the damage to ours? And a Pathfinder. Pathfinder marks LZs. Uh, marks drop zones for paratroopers, things to that nature. So why are these important? They're important because they're a supporting role aspect. You're JTAC or what I'm going to consider as JTAC being all these wrapped up into one little nugget. You don't have to be a sniper. But they are the voice of reason between the guys on the ground and the guys in the air. Sometimes the guys on the ground just get hysterical. Hey, you're not bringing in fire support on us. We need it now. There's two guys in front of us I have five guys on the on the ground well all I can say is if you have five guys in your squad and you're being pinned down by two they better have like 50 cows on you because you're garbage probably I can tell you right now I've been in an instance where I've been on a hilltop with two squads coming up two different sides and there was me and a buddy 
That was it. Me, two guys on top of a hill, and we were scrambling as we were fighting for Cass. People were saying, "We need Cass over here. We need Cass over here. There's 15 of you over here. There's two here. We need Cass over here." I'm sorry. I'm taking your Cass. So it's very important. What? What is the job? What are the jobs? Jobs are very simple. Get on the ground, see the find the enemy, mark the enemy, mark key terrain, mark LZs, possible avenues of approach, and then fixate the enemy either by laser designate or if you're a sniper putting rounds down range, but vectoring those aircraft in. And if I've hooked you already, here's what you need to know next. Or here's your here's your next question probably. What do I do? You've got me addicted to this already. I really want to try this out. What do I do? Well, it's simple. What you're going to do is just like I said, you're going to get on the ground. You're going to find elevation. You're going to find the enemy. You're going to figure out where the key terrain are. You're going to mark them all on a map. And you're going to help you're supporting is all you're doing you're supporting that infantry just like a cast in the air you're supporting the infantry just like the attack helicopter in the air he's supporting the infantry just like that transportation helicopter he's supporting the infantry just like that tank he's supporting the infantry every aspect in this game supports infantry period there is no independent group that says, oh, well, I'm supporting the armor. No, you're supporting the armor, which entitles that that armor is supporting the infantry, so you're supporting the infantry. I'm sorry, but that's just how I am. This is what it is. So let's just jump right straight, dive into the rabbit hole. Public servers, what to know. Well, first, let's get some loadouts going. Loadout. It doesn't matter that you can wear civilian attire. I don't care. The things, excuse me, I got the yards today. Oh, the things that are important is I use a vest that has a lot of room in it, a backpack with a lot of room in it. You definitely need a laser designator and extra batteries, which guess what? I don't have batteries for mine for some reason. You need a weapon of some sorts, preferably a high caliber. Right now I'm keeping an authentic Arma 3. I'm using a 6.5. I would normally be more satisfied with a 7.62 or higher, a 408 caliber or a 12.5. Something like that. Silencer, if you can. Laser designator is a must, not a flashlight. Some kind of an optic. At least three med kits, one on your person, one in your vest, one in your bag, your first aid kits. I also carry a med kit just in case. I carry extra sights. I carry lots of ammo and lots of smoke. You need smoke guys. RR strobes for those night operations. Make a loadout, fit it, save it, get it in there. Green chem lights are also very nice. But this is, this is the main stuff. Also, you're going to need these four items. You don't really need a radio. You just need these four items right here to be effective. And that's your basic loadout. It doesn't matter what you're wearing for goggles. doesn't matter what your helmet is. doesn't matter what color these are. doesn't matter if this is a freaking MX or, an enemy or anybody's weapon. Just as long as it has a grenade launcher on the bottom. Vest backpack, who cares about this, but pick whatever you got. That's my setup, personally. Map orientation. So we're going to reference my little handy dandy map with all my little marks. But we're going to go down here. Map orientation. These little circles right here that you see, these are hilltops. Okay? And you can tell this if you've ever... Excuse me, I've really got the yawns today. I apologize. If you've ever studied a map, had a map orientation course, played armor before, you know what these look like. Um, roads, you have roads, man-made structures, elevation, 
tree line foliage, water, stuff like that. This tells you everything. Now normally your map is going to be like this. JTACs do not use this map at all. It is garbage. Take it off. It doesn't matter. You don't need to see color to be effective. You just need it to work. Right here works. Works a lot better than this. Okay. Next thing you need to know is have your have your chat on side chat. Do not talk over side chat. Your your voice will be garbage. It will suck. It will be terrible. Your voice will crackle, and nobody is going to listen to you. You'll be the the laughing stock of the entire server and people will sit there and make fun of you I'm sorry it just has to be that way your main jobs are as follows marking the map marking it with friendlies enemies key terrain cast inbound and outbound for both fixed and rotary wing LZ plotting reconning the area laser designating targets and supporting infantry supporting infantry supporting infantry this is all on a public server now whenever I talk about the other two servers they also wrap into this but instead of combining it all into one it's, it's different on other servers so going into player hosted servers the one where you and a buddy or you and two or three buddies are playing off your computer your map that you made and you don't have a dedicated server some pro tips I can give to you excuse me get a system down get acronyms call signs words things that mean something that that you don't have to sit here and type there is a Rifleman, squad leader, automatic rifleman, AT specialist, you know, put squad times eight boots, something like that, on the ground. Armor, and, and don't put stuff that's vague. Enemy. I hate whenever people go, put a, pot, put a plot and say, enemy's right here, guys. That tells you what? Yeah, enemy's right there. But now I'm going to counter with a, a very sarcastic, you're an idiot-like sound of what kind of enemy is there? Are they foot? Are they armor? Are they aviation? Are they a zombie? A turtle? Who is there? Who is the enemy? What is it? Are they in a vehicle? Are they on the ground? Are they in a machine gun? What are they doing? So be more specific. After you, get, for those guys that are doing this, this small group, practice, 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 and practice. And whenever you get tired of practicing and you run through it and you know everything, practice a little bit more, because you're not there yet. I can tell you right now, if you continue to practice with a group, and you get that group, those five guys. One being a JTAC, one being in CAS, and three being on the ground as infantrymen. That right there, if they work together, they've practiced a lot, will wreck over everybody else in the server. You, those five guys can get in a server of 50, and they will shine compared to the others. Because they're, they work together, they know what they're doing, and it's all about communication, and that's the last part that I could say that you guys would need to work on is communication. Refine that communication to something that works. For those clan servers, you guys already have your group set up. If I could get do anything from my experience, give you guys any any feedback or information, JTACs need to work on transportation helicopters, not just attack aviation. Get an SOP, a solid SOP that works. If it doesn't work in the mountains, but it works in the city, get something that does work in the mountains so that you have two different ways of doing things. Refine that SOP down to its its nitty gritty, something that's so basic that, that lets the guys go free, that doesn't bind the hands of that JTAC. 
you don't bind the hands of your troops you let them free so they can do things you just give them enough to get to know what to do what not to do and again practice 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 so let's get right into the the practical exercise this is my AO right up in here I was airborne dropped in and I'm chilling here what am I looking for why am I in this spot why of all places am I in this spot well I ran up here earlier and yeah I got some good cover I got some good concealment and I'm getting higher but you know what I can't see the AO hmm. now real quick cover concealment cover bullet ain't going through it concealment bullets going through it cover I can hide behind it and I'm not gonna get shot you can shoot that rock a hundred thousand times you can even launch a grenade or a missile at it and it ain't gonna hurt me you might not be able to see me but you can still hit me so hard cover bullet can't go through cover foliage trees tall grass is concealment bullet can go through it but it hides you so first of all you want to find your spot elevation is key I don't need to be way up there because I'm going further back see how it kinda of planes out here and goes further back instead of right here where it goes more up and down so this is kinda of where I want to be right here I got some hard cover on my right and towards my front right on my left I got rocks on my rear I've got higher elevation and it planes out so if I need to pull back plus in the front I got good concealment and cover plus I can see right down to the bottom visually seeing everything so now that I'm here I'm gonna pull out my binoculars or laser designator which it should be turn on my thermals and I'm gonna find the enemy wherever they may be now there's not any enemy out here for the sake of of training but there is on the map so let's say that there is two squads two special teams one tank one tigris and one sniper team that's exactly what all this is saying there's a squad times eight boots there's a squad times eight boots one main battle tank AT team four boots AA team four boots one Tigris AA and one sniper team also mark down the key features key terrain the possible LZs I normally do three the bases here point contact or straight line contact so that the troops can get there as fast as they can and get into the fight possible LZ 1, 2, and 3 primary LZ 1 you always mark down your friendly and what hill you're on so if you look at it why are these red? well oh, first CAS CAS inbound outbound now why are these two hills red? well if I have troops on the ground here all throughout here I have CAS coming in here I have attack helicopter position 1 and 2 and I, they are both filled this right here this area right in here where my scroller is is the kill zone that means the troops land on Y and start walking this way the guys who are right in here are probably going to be shooting at them I'm sorry to say it but once thermals turn on because people love to turn thermals on friendly becomes as blended in as the enemy so once you have marked all this and how do you mark it normally what I do in the order of events is once I land and find my spot mark my spot friendly JTAC I then mark an A just a random A in the middle of where the enemy is from that A I go to my hill and name it hill A 1 2 alpha whatever and then I go to the right of where the closest vector to my base so if I was over here it would be I would go to my left 
Hill B, C, D, and E. What am I looking for? Elevation. This is 108, but that's 153. This is 116, but this is 121 in front of one, and what's in front of 116 is these two. This one is 93. Why did I do the, do 93? That's not very high. Well, these are 15, 10, 49, 70. And this is the highest point of elevation. Then I start from my position, and basically I'm doing this and scanning. Well, here's 184, but here's 221, 212. One, so that's why you want to do this. Mark them as red. If people land there after they're red, they're gonna, and if they don't die, they got lucky. Then what I do is I mark the infantry. Where is that infantry? Or, my bad, sorry. I mark cast inbound, outbound. Where do I want them to come in at? This is the important part. You don't want inbound here, outbound here, because if they misfire a bomb just for a few, uh, just for a split second, that bomb can actually run into the troops here. If they get shot down, they could crash into the troops. The helicopter could run into a, a, a helicopter that's trying to crash or trying to land. So having them go in this valley is a lot better. Plus the hills, the aviation is going to have to fly. Let's say this is this line right here is ground level they're literally going to have to go up over the hill fire immediately and then maneuver back up they're not going to be as accurate but there is a valley right here so he can actually use this valley and it directs him right in the point where we need him boom so once that's done plot your LZs plot these LZs give variety and the last one should be your LZ then attack helicopter positions troops on the ground once you have that basic information done you don't have to have base but normally the base is here on Altus once you have this this basic information right in this area done you you've you've relayed the information you already know now you can start laser designating and putting rounds down range if you're a sniper, dropping that ordinance in, calling in casts, whatever. Now you're like, well, what the what the heck's the grenade launcher have to do with anything? That don't make no sense. Blah 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 blah. Well, let me ask you this: if I can throw this smoke as far as I can, which is right there, that's not very far. If I throw that smoke right there, and the enemy's right there. Something is wrong. If bomb lands there, there's a good probability that if he he was a little bit to the right, if he was coming in this way, or if he was, there's no way he's going to hit me unless he's way coming straight down. He's going to be able to hit that target. But if I see the enemy coming up, and I fire this thing, I could go, okay, here's grid reference. All right, right there, and let's say they're over here. So let's see. And then you wait for points. All right, right where we want it. Now you can call in red smoke, red smoke, fire on red smoke, all cast on red smoke. Boom. And you, you they're two, three, four hundred meters out already. You know, they're already being engaged by cast out there instead of being engaged right up on your doorstep. That's the great thing about these. Now you're going to say, well, I can't mark way over there. You're not supposed to mark smoke way over there. They're going to mark smoke if they need to. But you're, you're vectoring them in. You're trying to tell them where they are. So that, that pretty much does it for the... the uh, the practical exercise, I mean, it was kind of fast and kind of hastily, but I think I got everything in there that I needed, that you're going to need to be successful in this, this role. So let's go ahead and hit this conclusion, and we'll wrap this up. So you're probably asking, okay, seriously, how effective is this? are these jobs? Well, they're pretty effective. I can tell you right now, me and my buddy was a sniper team. We were JTAC. I was a JTAC, and... 
we were in this posi particular position and we ran downhill. If it wasn't from our sniper rifles hitting, it was from bombs landing. And whenever the the jet came through, dropped his ordnance or, or did his scraping run and went outbound, switched to my rifle and we kept putting rounds down range, dropping them as fast as we could. We probably got through this AO in I would say about 15-20 minutes, which is relatively fast. Oh, excuse me. I've also been in situations where it's been two people on a hill, two two soldiers on a hill, me and my buddy, and nobody else around us, and people are calling in gas elsewhere, and we're like, no, we have troops in contact on Hill B. We need everything on Hill B and C right now. We need it right now. Green marks, you know, and it was confusing. It was really confusing because it was like green, one second green smoke is where friendlies are, the next second green smoke is where enemy is and red smoke is where friendlies are because it was literally switching that fast um, taking 50 cal fire there's nothing like taking 50 cal fire in this game because you you get down real fast or you die so it is very effective to have a JTAG um, to help not only those boots on the ground but help those pilots get their ordnance where it's needed the most where it's going to do the most damage. One bomb can kill a lot of guys if it's placed in the right place. Again, let's wrap up with what 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 do I do? Well, it should go like this. You get to the AO. You find your perch. You find the enemy. You 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 get them down to their most basic parts. You you recon them. You see what they have, armor assets like that you mark them on a map you mark your position on a map you mark them on a map you identify key terrain features cast inbound outbound the kill zone the no-go zones the no-go hills LZs he attack helicopter positions and then refine that stuff down to where it's gonna be people can reference that map and see exactly where things are and go from there the what not to do don't be a troll don't be throwing oh there's armor right here I told you there was armor armor doesn't tell me anything if you absolutely do not know the names of the vehicles and I understand if you're new and you don't know the names of the vehicles please please don't just say a tank because the thing I'm thinking of whenever you say a tank is a main battle tank and it might be an APC and one of my videos that guy's like there's an Ifrit coming I'm like that's not an Ifrit <laughs> there's no way an Ifrit that thing's got eight wheels it's it's an APC if you say IFVs infantry fighting vehicle that's m more towards the tracked or wheeled Strikers, Bradley type vehicles. A MRAP is like a Humvee souped up on steroids. Main battle tank is that a main battle tank? Um, the AAA, you could say AAA for for the anti-aircraft armor. You could say AA, AAA, or you know AA for the infantrymen things like that um, you know don't don't get a bunch of nonsense use those little dots instead of using the flags and the the fancy bounce to and rally here and all that the circle with the X in the middle of it just use the dot it's more precise and it's cleaner you don't have a whole bunch of nonsense garbled up and nasty in the middle so probably another pro tip I could probably give you and this goes for everybody if you see a rookie and he's really trying or, or he's new and you're good at and this goes across the entire spectrum and he's good at, or, and he's trying to be a helicopter pilot or trying to be a JTAC and you see that he's re and he's not having a good good time you know he's not really doing it right 
or he crashes or he gets killed too much strap him to your hip take him along and and teach him um, I've had guys in public service teach me how to fly I spend most of my time in helicopters but I learn something new all the time so don't don't be too much of a troll I guess for those extra 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 awesome trolls out there you know it, it is what it is you're gonna get out of your game what you put in and you don't put anything in it you just harass people you ain't gonna get nothing out of it eventually you're gonna go back to WoW or you're gonna go back to whatever console game you came from like Call of Duty and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna waste away thinking you're the shit when in reality you couldn't even get it through Arma you know um, another pro tip I could probably say for you rookies out there Arma is not Call of Duty if you're looking something for like like Call of Duty Arma is not the game there's no running and gunning it's just like real life find cover find concealment fix the enemy find fix and de maneuver and destroy the enemy um, that's the name of the game enemy can also fire artillery on you so in any other game you think oh well, there's airstrikes not like this there's not <laughs> you know um, whole different ball game arma and I love the whole arma series there's a lot of good guys out there that 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 teach and share their knowledge and that's what I'm trying to do right now is so if you're if you're already playing the game you're a veteran you watch the video hopefully you got something out of it if you're new to mid-range to the game played it for a little bit I hope you got something out of it if you're a rookie I hope you learned a little bit about what it being a JTAC is and how important it is if you're contemplating getting the game get the game it is fantastic the the campaign's a little I liked it personally a couple of my buddies didn't like it to each their own it has a beautiful editor beautiful Zeus mod I mean look at this terrain I've never seen anything else like it in any other game it's beautiful the map is huge just absolutely huge absolutely awesome the community is great go check out those other youtubers by all means watch those funny clips they're hilarious go watch that combat footage the realism units the funny goofy guys the trolls everybody brings a whole different light to this game definitely recommend it if you're looking for something like Call of Duty it is not Arma 3 I'm sorry anyway I don't have anything else to teach if there is anybody watching this video post a comment in below like it dislike it there's no such thing as bad publicity if you like it great if you don't like it that's awesome I hope I can get better I hope I can get some information to you that you can you can get to post those comments if you're a veteran and you have more information to add please post that down below in the comment section we gotta get this information out there and I can't do it alone I don't have all the answers I don't I'm even though I was prior service I wasn't a JTAC I was an EWO so you know let's 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 do this let's let's have some fun and I hope you guys really learn something I'm Skahan go forth and be badasses <laughs> Ba 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 